What are you seeing? How are families doing? Uh, particularly, I think of families with young children and, and the way school is these days uh, and everybody working from home at the same time. Yeah, you know, there is uh, quite the burden on young people and parents right now. Um, and actually, I have a couple of stats. Um, so 62% of parents are saying that the pandemic has exacerbated the mental health challenges of at least one of their children. Um, that comes from Children's Healthcare Canada. 48% uh, of parents are saying it's introduced new mental health issues for at least one child. And I'm certainly noticing this in my own practice. Um, there are a lot of parents who are struggling with uh, technology, the amount of electronic time, and it's creating a lot of um, stress in their homes. Um, kids' anxiety has increased. We're seeing an increase in eating disorders issues, um, self-harm in suicide attempts. It's, it's quite severe right now. And so what I would encourage people to do, um, early intervention is so, so important. Um, and I know that during the pandemic, it's been very, very difficult to access services. In some cases, services were interrupted altogether. Um, I would encourage people if they have any concerns, if parents have any concerns for themselves or for their children, just as you would a physical illness or issue, you would call a doctor and you'd get it checked out. Call your doctor and see if it's worthwhile coming in for a visit or a virtual assessment. Check in with a mental health professional and you can do the same. Because if we figure it out early enough, um, we can really avoid some longer term issues. And employers have to be aware of those challenges as well. And that's part of that psychological safety message that you've delivered today. Absolutely. Um, the, the workforce plays a huge role in this. We have families, parents who are in the workforce and they are carrying these burdens. They're bringing it to work because, you know, we aren't just our jobs. We come to work as whole people and we have stresses in our lives. Maybe we're caring for sick family members. Perhaps we have mental health issues in the home. Perhaps we're struggling ourselves. Addictions is very high. Uh, alcohol rates are going up. Um, and so employers, uh, workplaces do play a role. They need to understand that this exists and not cut that type of, um, that part of them out. Um, and they need to be able to provide them with easy access mental health resources. Well, you've, uh, you've given us a lot to think about here today, Jessica. I really appreciate you coming on the program. I'm really grateful that you asked me to come. Thank you so much, Jamie. You're welcome. Jessica House is a mental health counselor who has done some very interesting work in combining lean management uh, with mental health.